You might wonder why I don't have a head on today. You know why? We need the extra light shining off of my head. If <laughs> you can see Tyler right now, uh, he's laughing. But this is the part that we need. The spring broke in the old one, apparently. So what we need to do is put this in there. Like I said earlier, super, super easy. One take. You may ask yourself, what is the flappy door handle syndrome? Well, here's what you got. You have too much fun and drive too fast down some very beautiful roads. This has the potential of happening. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it did. So we are gonna fix this. Door still opens and closes, but there's like a little spring in here that came off. We'll try to show you that, but what we need to do, there's a screw inside of here, there's a screw over here, and there's a screw here and two in here. So what we're going to do first is this screw. Can you see this good? All right, there's this little blue thing. It's not blue. This is blue, this is black. I'm not colorblind, I promise. With a plastic remover tool, you want to hit the bottom and it should. Hang on. Flip off, just like that. See? Booyah! Smart idea, save it in your door handle. All right, you open this up and you see a T30. Every screw that we need is a T30. I have already loosened this up, so you just put the bit in there and awkwardly peel it out. Porsche mechanics at their best. Look at that! What I like to do is make sure that the screws are, are not the same size, so when you put them back together, you put the right one in the right hole. You know what I mean, Ty? I, I completely agree. Come around here and we'll show them the other side. Okay, the next part is this part. You want to get your trim remover tool underneath there and gently pull. Here's the screw. I won't bore you with it, but you take this out and then we're going back to the front of the door panel. Isn't this exciting, Ty? Give them some words of encouragement. Do it. This, this is gonna be an amazing adventure into how successful we are of Porsche mechanics. If this, there is no way we fail. If this YouTube thing doesn't work out, bring us your Porsches and we'll ruin them, assuredly. I mean, fix them, assuredly. This is the same size as the other one. So we got two of them out, we got a few left to go. What can go wrong? Nothing so far. Okay, <laughs> the uh, third thing we do this is still a one take technically so far. I will let you know if it's not a one take. We need to peel this out, up, and uh, something. So you, you want to be careful whenever you're like doing stuff. Because you're messing with the visible areas and you don't want to scratch it. It looks like she's in there pretty good. Okay, so, and just take your time and then this, you gotta slide it up this way, somehow. It looks like it's caught on the rubber of the- Do you think we actually need to take it off any further? Probably. Well, there's a screw in there that we need to get to. Why do you gotta be so smart, Tyler? Just the way I was raised. Well, good, you did something right. Okay. It's not going exactly how I wanted it to. There we go. We'll just keep that there and we want to take this screw out. Every screw is a T30. Uh, and if you guys are wondering why I am doing all this work, it's because I lost the dreaded paper rock scissors. I threw a rock and he threw paper. At least that's how it's gonna go down in history. <laughs> now, <laughs> we're gonna take this off. If you can see real tight to here, there's like a nice, there's a line that goes like this. So we're gonna take this off because there's two screws allegedly back here. Also, I'm gonna tell our viewers, it might not have been a rock, paper, scissors contest and you might have been the one that broke the handle. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. We were spirited driving and it just happens. <laughs> Again, you wanna be somewhat careful. There you go, look at that. Hey, do you need a handle to get in and out of the shower? You old man. I think that's more of your department. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so now there should be two screws here. 
There's one over here. Somewhere. I, in fact, can't even see it. And then there's going to be another one. There's a one screw here, and there's a screw on this side. We're going to take these out, and then we're going to snap it back. You may ask yourself, why do we always do this to ourselves? Well, the answer is, Tyler, you answer them. We do this to ourselves because we need the content for y'all. No, it's because we're on a budget and we have a very expensive car that we need to pay for. That is also true. <laughs> so this might be a good time to make sure that you click, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, we have the five screws off. One, two, three, four, five. Theoretically, use a different pry tool and we're gonna go from the bottom and it's just gonna come off like magic. So you gotta pull this pretty gosh darn hard, but Nothing broke, so I think that we're gonna be just fine. If you look at in here, you gotta disconnect a couple of these wires. So this one, there's a little clip there with your finger. You pull this out. There, there's that one. This one, I might need two hands for. We're gonna disconnect that, and then we're gonna take out this door handle. That's it, nice and easy. We'll be right back. Man, this is finally something you need to do on the inside. So Porsche does things right. Things are in, well, pieces. I guess everything's in pieces the further you go. But if you look right here, this somehow, it breaks. I'm not really sure how it breaks, but I know that this one's not broken. So we're gonna put this in here. The first thing that we need to do is we come over to this side and to get this door handle out, there's a T20 screw. Lose that screw. It's, it's only Tyler's, I mean. <laughs> and then this should slide out. Look at that. Wanna and you throw it in the garbage. Throw it in the garbage. You don't need that anymore. Just kidding, you do. All right, and then there's three T20 screws here. One, put that on the side, two, I promise you guys, if we can do this, you can do it. The hardest part is so far is pulling that door, this door card off and uh, just grip and rip it is like I always like to say. What did you notice about this door panel, Ty? Right here, it says 997 and here is all the serial code saying 997. That's pretty cool. I guess I drive a 997 now. Okay, so here, everything's loose, except for we gotta just pull it down from there. I might go grab a screwdriver maybe. Nope, there we go. Just wiggle it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There you go, there's the old one. This is how this one went, came, went in. Brand new one, we'll put the part number in there. See how this one is not broken? So, it's tight, this one. Loose. That makes sense? Yes. Okay, so now, like this. Yeah? This goes through here. We're gonna put this little knob in there. And we're gonna put this right there. Then, I, don't, I hope that um, the hardest part was getting out this door card. Because so far, we're doing pretty good. What do you think? I hope that's the hardest part because otherwise we are in a world of hurt. How much was this door handle? I bought the handle and the wire just in case the wire was broken and it costed me 50 something dollars after they charged me shipping as well. And we will put the link in the description below, obviously. It's right there. The it's, no, go a little, yeah, right there. Okay, so now to put this back, obviously there's more tension on here than there used to be. If you push here and put that in there, and then, um, oh, did I put the screw in the safety spot? I think I did. Look at that. <laughs> okay, this screw, we're gonna just put that right back where it belongs. Ready? There we go. Look at that. We have an unfloppy 
handle. Let's go put this back on. All right, so step one. This new contraption is a little bit different, but the same principles apply, I would imagine. We need to get that down there, that in there, and that there. So then when you pull the door open, it pulls that. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Makes sense to me. This, I want to plug back in here so that the doohickey continues to work. This, we want to plug back in here. We always have the best lighting for these things. You know what I mean? I agree. It's like we are trained professionals. <laughs> okay. There we go. Bam! A little hard work and some and dedication. Don't forget about re-putting the wire back in its holding bracket. Oh, this. Good call, Ty. What are you at? Are you a turn five mechanic? I am a turn five mechanic. All right, so to do that, I should probably unscrew up that. And it just goes like that. And this should clip back over here. With enough force, anything is possible. There. Okay. <laughs> so now all of these clips just need to go in their holes. So that's what we're gonna do. That one goes there, that one goes there, that one goes there. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get it back on there with as much luck as a man can have. Okay, but I'm gonna need your hands. So all you do is put these clips back in these holes. Right there, bam, bam. Good? Good. Well, welcome back. Uh, I think that turn five would be lying to you if we said that it's super easy to put back on. But it is just a matter of putting it out over this ledge and then tapping in with your hands where those pins are. Exactly that lightly, right? Yeah, well, you gotta do it fairly hard, but you get it, okay? So now we get to put this screw back in over here. Can you see this? I mean, you don't really need to see it. You just gotta put that bad boy back in. Okay, it's nice and tight. And then you put all the additional screws back. So there's five of them. You put those back. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and close up the door and see if it works. Well, there's still power. There sure is. We don't know if the door works yet because we haven't demonstrated it on video. We know, but you don't. When you're not with a bunch of 911s, this is fast. Yeah. When you're with a bunch of 911s, it gets a little bit slower. But look at this awesome handiwork that we did. And the window closes, and the window closes. I meant it opens and then it closes, but uh, tell them your thoughts. Well, if I'm being honest, it opened and closed before, but it was the handle release that caused it to not. Well, I'm not gonna open up the handle right now. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal. Was it the most difficult thing? No. Difficulty out of 10 is probably a two or three. Now, when things break, it becomes a five, six, seven, somewhere in there. We had a really difficult time with a couple of those clips. Yep. They wouldn't open back up for us. It just was a little bit of a pain. Um, you can do it. I would do it again. It took us probably an hour total time. Maybe a little less than that, but like actual working, maybe a half an hour, but the whole process an hour. I would say we spent a good 20 minutes hitting the door though, so that was fun. Yeah, so you gotta, those clips are a pain in the rear. They just are. They are. Because even when you get them all to the open position so they can go back into the door successfully, they don't go easily in there because just the way they are designed, they are over-engineered and 
you have to put so much force that it just it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense but we really hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that it helps you guys out and i hope that we gave you a little bit of um comic relief hopefully and uh we're gonna go shut the camera off and enjoy some speed make sure that you click like comment subscribe and make sure you comment if you would be willing to do it yourself after watching us do it yeah good luck take care we'll see you soon